it's kind of sad the world that we live in nowadays. Matter of fact, it's extremely sad. And as much as I want to rant and I want to go off and I want to cuss y'all out, I can't because I don't want to get my channel demonetized. So let's just wait to hear what it is, what it is I have to say after the intro. Okay. Let's talk about it. people to have fun let's kick back let's get into a little tea let's not get too crazy but let's enjoy the sip what's up y'all so some of y'all know me from doing story times some of y'all know me from my commentary and others of y'all know me from my spiritual tarot readings now nonetheless i have a patreon that i want y'all to go check out because every video that i upload to youtube is automatically flagged by the algorithm not to mention the fact that I'm black and LGBT, but that's a commentary video for another day, child. Okay? So over on patreon.com slash Santana, I want to be able to offer y'all early uploads, extended versions of videos, story times, both old and new, as well as exclusive content. Because best believe that there is a lot of tea I be wanting to get into, but I would like to keep my channel. Okay? And I'm going to leave it at that. So do me a favor and go sub to my Patreon. Now also, for those that don't know, I am psychic. I'm an intuitive healer, a light worker, as some would call it, baby, I'm gifted, okay? I used to run a channel called Alana Souls for a few years where I would put out intuitive messages, predictions, zodiac readings, but now I'm starting to transfer all of that content over to this channel and merge those entertainment and spiritual worlds. So I did want to inform y'all that I do offer personal alignment readings featuring tarot, astrology, and other divination tools. And you know, once in a blue, y'all can catch me on live, we could get a quick read and done as well now if you're stressed out confused in your life direction unsure about your love life career money going through your Saturn return even if you got a fake friend of you I can help you I consider my alignment sessions to be spiritual therapy let's break you down to help build you back up okay let's figure out who you are and where you come from to understand where it is that you're going how many times in life do we get to a certain age or past a certain obstacle and wish that we would have known XYZ ahead of time well now you can so if y'all don't go book a reading with me on my website, thealotandsouls.com, and allow me to whip that butt back into shape and align you back to your highest good and highest soul, baby. I love you all for real now. And they see boo. But let's get to the chi-chi, the kiki, the, the internet bull. Child, fuck what's going on. Y'all already know who the hell it is. Listen, I'm tired of y'all raggedy hoes. And before we even dive into the bullshit, like the fucking video. know what's wrong with y'all like i genuinely am confused at this point i genuinely 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 am confused at this point because in one breath we scream out protect black women and another breath we scream out how we the most disrespected and another breath you scream out how black people are looked at and treated upon each other and that 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 in the world and i just don't i don't i don't get it I don't, I don't, I don't get it, especially when it comes to situations like this, where y'all turn around and y'all start treating each other like bullshit, and then you get mad when other people start saying, "Oh, black on black crime," or da 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 da, and then you want to give every excuse in the book and somehow try to relate it back to white people and this, that, and a third. But it's like, no, this is this is all y'all doing. This is all y'all doing. This is all y'all doing. Like I was minding my damn business, and I was about to be done for the night. But then I'm scrolling on Twitter, and then I come across this story and we're gonna go ahead and get into it so 
there's a post that I saw that somebody had retweeted, and then I went to the post, and it says, a local beauty bar went searching for Shamar and blessed them with a complimentary spot date makeover. Now, if you don't know who Shamar is, Chad, I can't help you, because I barely do. Just know that he's the one who Santana be dancing like all the time. The one that, like, he did the little viral dance, I guess, that has gone viral now and that every girl be doing with the legs, like the twerk walk or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know exactly where he originated. I just know that I've seen him online a lot. Um, I know that he popped up for the bad boys filming for season one and season two. Like, so I just knew him to be like an internet personality. I have no idea where he originated from, but I mean, it doesn't take a super fan to know that, okay, obviously this is somebody who has faced and is facing like a lot of challenges because for one, his body is this form Two, he has some mental disabilities. And if you've ever scrolled on TikTok. You've probably seen a video of his before. Um, as of recently, you know, videos have come out that basically now he's homeless. And, you know, like it, like I get like when we're on TikTok and we're scrolling, like, you know, you always run to the comments to see, you know, how other people feel. And the comments are usually funny. And this, that, and the third. But then it's like certain shit, not that it's necessarily off limits, but it's just like... I don't even know how to explain it. I don't I don't even know how to explain it. Because, you know, definitely when you look at the comments of the videos that um are posted on TikTok of him, you know, everybody's in the comments like, where's this kid taking da 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 And for the last couple of months, I've been seeing people just randomly pull up on him and just start filming him, right? Now, granted, you know, if you saw Saucy Santana, if you saw the City Girls, if you saw Lotto, if you saw, you know, like, any of these other people, like, of course, you probably pull out your phone and da 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 And even though I got my opinions about that, I could more so understand those type of things a little bit more because those are people that are established. Those, those are people that have made it. Those are people that are mainstream. But this is Shamar. This is somebody who has been very open and honest about their struggles and has been recently posting videos and doing lives like explaining like he's not in the best space and everything that he's going through and you know how he became homeless and whatnot and so when i see that y'all are still posting these videos where y'all are literally pulling up on him like y'all will be riding in your car and everybody's such a super fan but y'all riding in your car and recording him walk that right there is insane to me but y'all are such a huge fan of his recording him, watching him walk, and then y'all will upload it to TikTok and be like, oh, Shamar walking everywhere. And it's like, well, duh, bitch, because he's clearly homeless and he does not have the money and it means to be able to support himself. So you uploading it for what? For what? For what? And then what gets me even tighter is those of y'all that will see him and then you will come and put a camera in his face and then expect him to just perform and start telling jokes or doing whatever it is that he does, knowing what he's going through. Like, it, like if I had the fucking video pulled up right now, I would show you. But there was a video that I saw a couple of weeks ago where the girl was riding by. She saw him. She came. No, matter of fact, she was at a red light. And there was a group of girls in the car. And they saw him walking. And she called him over like, oh, my God, da 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 And put the camera all up in his face. And he was like, listen, like, I'm, I'm like, not not right now. I'm going through it. And she just insisted on filming and continue on with the conversation and literally forced the nigga to engage. And it was hella fucking awkward, like awkward. And then all she did afterwards was like, okay, well, keep your head up. You know, you'll get through it. Like, da -da 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 -da. and it's like, mm, not that anybody is supposed to support this man. But at the same time, it's just like, that's where shit starts getting weird for me because because really, it's not it's not about anybody supporting him financially. It's not about that. But like you're doing all of this and using his popularity and his internet fame for clicks and views, right? And if you're that much of a super fan, then you would already know of what he's going through. And then even after he literally explains to you, like, yo, I'm going through shit, like da 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 da, you would have enough respect to put the camera away. That's the least you could fucking do. That's the least you could do. Because I could take it a step further. Like, I mean, at least if you're going to have the camera all up in his face and you know that the nigga broke, and yet you, you know you're going to put him on TikTok just so you could grow your page, at least throw a couple of dollars his way. 
And that's just how I feel on it. Not that it's anybody's job to, to support him financially, but come on now. Come on now. So when I'm seeing this shit on Twitter right now, where whoever this random bitch is, literally, like, went searching for him, not to get him money, not to put him in a fucking shelter, not to give him a job, not to help him get on his feet, not to help him connect back to his family, not to do anything for him. But for her, she purposely went around the city to go find this man to put a camera in his face just to give him a new wig so that he could wear under whatever bridge he's sleeping under. Let's go ahead and watch the fucking video. To wear the pink with the pink bitch pink. Yeah. Okay, we just figured like the it girl beauty bar team should just do a great deed. So we looked for Shamar and we found Shamar. And there we go. Shot o'clock, shot, 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 shot o'clock. I mean, we was just. Mind you, this bitch is feeding him shot. Baby, he don't need liquor. He need dollars. Like, why are you feeding him shots? He probably on an empty stomach right now. Ain't no telling when the, when the last time this nigga done ate. But yet you went searching for him. As soon as you see him, you handed him shots like... Like y'all about to go to Club 4040 or something. Like, girl. But you can tell this an ignorant bitch right here. It's feeling like, let's give Shamar the best pampering makeover that he's ever had i mean we showed him real one-stop shop beauty bar love look at him he didn't know if it was a warrant a sign or what yes welcome shamari i see him. he was so excited y'all we made sure we look out for him we changed his clothes we ordered him some food nails hair lashes makeup teeth whitening a good sting treatment whatever it was we gave it to him you name it he felt good about himself he was feeling good he enjoyed the vibes yes okay T Let's get into the wig, though. We're just going to give Shamar the best, best makeover that he ever had. He's never got all these services done in one. As you see, he's not the fuck out. Yes. You see it, bitches. You see it, bitches. Yeah. If this about Shamar, why the fuck you in the video? If this is about Shamar, why are you in the video? And why are you all dolled up? Matter of fact, let me start this over because I want y'all to pay attention to everything and every word that she's saying because this ain't nothing but one big ass campaign, one big ass promotion, one big ass commercial for her business. Okay, we just figured like the It Girl Beauty Bar team should just do a great deed. So we looked for Shamar and we found Shamar. And there we go. Shot o'clock, shot o'clock, shot, 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 shot o'clock. I mean, we was just feeling like, let's give Shamar the best pampering makeover that he's ever had i mean we showed him real one-stop shop beauty bar love look at him he didn't know if it was a warrant a sign or what yeah best pampering one stop beauty shop that sound like slogans to me as welcome shamari i said he was so excited y'all we made sure we look out for him we changed his clothes we ordered him some food nails hair lashes makeup teeth whitening a good thing, treatment, whatever it was, we gave it to him, you name it. He they letting you know what services they offer. Wigs, makeup, teeth whitening, spa treatment, skin services, nails. Felt good about himself. He was feeling good. He enjoyed the vibes. Yes. Okay. T Let's get into the wig, though. We're just going to give Shamar the best best makeover that he ever had. He's never got all these services done in one. As you see, he's not... All of these services done in one. The fuck out. Yes. You see it, bitches. You see it, bitches. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Cute. You know, he had to wear the pink with the pink, bitch, pink. Y'all make sure y'all come see us. One stop shop and the finish touch. Bow. All right. Now let's take it on over to TikTok because y'all know TikTok gonna give it to you every time. Because I want y'all to pay attention to. I don't know when this bitch posted that because I had to go to TikTok. For the extra material, but this is for the girls in the when I went over to TikTok, and this was the first video that I saw, and I'm gonna assume that this is her account. So y'all go follow her, Miss Honey Hustler, because it says spend the day with Shamar. We love you, Shamar. And then she tags her business, of course, because why why not? The It Girl Beauty Bar ATL. But it's Atlanta. Okay, well, there we go. There we go. That says enough. But when I saw this and then I quickly went through the comments, I was like, oh, this must have posted at a different time than that video because that video that we just watched, I got from Twitter. I don't know if it's just a difference between TikTok and Twitter, but Twitter, who is usually wrong, was all the way right in this situation and how they felt about it. But then when I went to TikTok, well, 
let's just get into the comments. But well, after the video. It's a different POV. Shot glass, shot a clock. You did, you got it. You bitches know what's going on, bitch. A bitch is hopping out the motherfucking road. It's horrible, bitch. Period. And you'll never know who the fuck I am, ho. And you'll never know what kind of car I'm in, bitch. If you do, bitch, try it. Hold on, hold on. We hold love on. you, Shabon. Mind you, I, like, mind you, it, it's not even that this is a different POV. This is the same damn video, except without a voiceover. So that means that she made two videos. So she took this footage, not only uploaded this, but then went back and done a, did a promotional reel, which was the first video we watched. That's interesting. This is be gay. Don't clown me. I don't give a fuck if I got no tip, but good I'm a badass bitch. Shut that ass, bitch. And then all that I wish I hope would say something good. How you feel? I feel good. You feel good? You look good. You look real good. Yeah, okay, whatever. Let's go through the comments. It says Shamar be everywhere, laughing out loud. God bless y'all for doing this. Child, doing what? Somebody said, Are you kidding me? You want God to bless them for doing something he stands against? What? Oh, what? what? That's a whole other video. Um, this gonna get the most hate just watch, even though it's true. Oh, well, look, we're not gonna go into that conversation. Um, Lord, he would never be humble. Y'all are awesome for this. This is so sweet and humble to do for him because that picture of him sitting out homeless was sad for me to see. Okay. Um, I love this. Instead of posting a negative video about him, y'all made his day. I mean, they could have made his month, they could have helped him with rent money. You guys are really true and authentic people. And remember, once you do good for someone, another will do even better for you. Okay. Listen, listen. I'm not going to hope anything for y'all. But like, like, let's see how you feel when you're sleeping under a bridge. And then somebody come and say, hey, you want to wake? <laughs> you want to wake? <laughs> they come and say, hey, where this wig for me? Okay. And take a picture for Instagram. <laughs> Is that going to make your day? Like, girl. Ladies, y'all the absolute best. So sweet. Oh, this was nice of y'all. This is beautiful and wholesome. I love a sticking nigga. I'm just going to assume that motherfuckers don't know his situation. I mean, it, there's no way that you can't. If you know who Shamar is, you know you you can't. I'm not even going to try to find an excuse. So let's keep going. This is what uh, Tatitha. I don't even know how to fucking pronounce that. Tatitha. Oh, uh, wait. She need to change her name. Not Tati the with an A stylist. She need, she needs to change her name. The ghetto. Okay, this is what she posted. And it's all the same people. So I'm just assuming that each girl in the car did their own little video because it's all the same angles and all that. He want the spoon. She but now these comments say Shamar need a home forever confused. Shamar was once on a show called Zodiac House. He's oh wait, the producer of the show, Bougie Nina, saw him homeless, picked him up, and gave him a makeover. And now he's gonna be on season three of the show. I'm confused. Um I guess he'll be homeless and fashionable at the same damn time. Y'all must ain't see the other video. I thought he said he was homeless. You mean the first part? That's how he ended up in. Not laughing. That's funny, bro. It's a crazy life. Chow. Chow, 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 chow. And then we got this Hello, right here. I say they don't even like me now because I'm homeless. And I don't Remember, that. Shamar, he was a disabled TikToker who lost his SSI due to people hating on him. Now he's homeless, living on the streets due to very cruel people. Love me no more. I think they don't even like me now because I'm homeless and I don't got nowhere to stay. And, I and girl, this is like a week ago. I was trying to keep that in mind. This was like a week ago. No more than a month ago. I was going to say two weeks at the most. But this was like a week ago. Can't stay with nobody or nothing. So it's just like I'm out here in the street. And I don't want to have to see about that. I really don't, but that's what it's giving. It's giving that I'm gonna have to sleep outside. 
It's giving them have to sleep on the fucking ground. Like, motherfuckers want to fight me. Motherfuckers want to talk about me. Which is I don't give a fuck. I'm just... Like, they were trying the best that I could. But it's why like I ain't got no car to get where I need to go. I ain't got no car to get here, there, and there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know what to fucking do right now. I really don't. It's give and go to get a car at this point. Love me no more. I think they don't even like me. <laughs> It's give and go get a makeover. You know, That's what it's giving. Like, he said, I don't know what to do. It's give and go get a makeover. Okay, and y'all ask him why is he walking everywhere every time that y'all see him, y'all the biggest fans, and y'all putting cameras in his face. He literally just told you, I don't have a car, bitch. I'm homeless. Okay, the money that I was getting, I lost it due to fucking internet trolls. You go through the comments on this post, it's saying people hating on him. That's how he lost his social security. Jamar need to go to a shelter. Hopefully, they can help him get it back. Now, also, too, I do want to point out that those of y'all that just throw out the shelter word, baby, the shelters are full. That's why people are under the fucking bridges. Okay? Shelters are full. It be a lot going on. It be a lot of violence. You got bad bugs. Like, it, it just, it be just as bad as prisons up in there. That's why you got a lot of people that opt to be homeless and live under a bridge or live on the street. That's exactly why. Okay? Baby, life got a way of humbling you. Uh, listen, I don't know his backstory story, um, outside of his family, which was a crazy story. I believe, like, a brother and a sister came together, and that's how he was created. Allegedly, that's what I heard. But I'm not sure what he needs to be humble for. Because y'all love throwing that out there about humility. Like, humble, why? Humble, why? Because he's he's instant um, internet famous? Because that's the only time y'all say it. Y'all don't ever use that humble word in real life. Y'all only use it on the internet. What did he do so bad that he deserved to be homeless? Serious question, because I don't know. Exactly. He turned his back on people who did nothing but treated him with respect. So that granted him homelessness? Okay. The way you treat people will reflect on your own life. All his friends let him live with them, but he gets drunk and etc. I got to disagree with that. Every video I saw was them wilding and ODing on him. But child, y'all can argue about that in the comments. I right, listen. Listen. We just going to take it back to the original post. And then we're gonna wrap this one up. Cause I did wanna get into I did wanna get into some of the comments that was on Twitter. Cause some people were making some really good ass points. Okay. So it says he needs a place to stay, not a new wig. Use them for advertising and marketing and said, hmm, okay. No shade, this isn't it. I'm sorry. Help place that young man in housing off the streets. You guys are really glamorizing the social media fake life. This man is disabled and homeless and you're feeding him wigs and shit. <laughs> like, that doesn't even sound right saying this man is disabled and homeless and you're feeding him wigs and shots. Do this when you get him a home where it can matter the most. Yeah, but what's the point of getting him a home if he won't be able to maintain the home, paying rent, paying bills, buying food? That's on him at that point. That's why when you get somebody a home, you set you set them up as much as you can. Okay? You try to help him get a job or hell, she owns the fucking business. She can literally give him a job. You know that he knows about hair. You know that he knows about wigs. That's why you invited him there. She could have hired him. The fuck? And it ain't even like he got to be sitting there playing in somebody's head all day. No, he could he could sweep the floors. Anything counts. It's the thought that counts. So is he still homeless or not? This man, uh, this just made him feel good for a day. What about the days after? This is pure for the person's views and likes, not the help of Shamar. I'm not a huge fan of his antics, but homelessness hurts my heart. Somebody helped this man and not with a fucking makeover. <laughs> So they gave him a makeover to be cute on the streets. Baby, when you're facing homelessness, what you need is a place to stay to get yourself together. <laughs> Not shots and lace fronts. <laughs> this is so ghetto. 
All, <laughs> all of this was nothing more than a long ass commercial for them, exploiting people at their weakest for business and clout. Oh, baby, 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 baby. I mean, I mean, listen, listen. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Let me make sure that that's all that I wanted to say. Because I originally saw that post on Carrie's page. And I want to get into this debate that he was going back and forth with. Because I feel like it kind of sheds light on both sides. I mean, not that there's two sides to the fucking story. I mean, there's only one side, which is the fucking truth and what's right. Okay, but for the, for y'all your, your dumbasses that is probably going to be in the comments trying to defend this shit, let's go ahead and get into this little Twitter back and forth. So, Carrie had posted, what is a homeless man going to do with a, uh, a new wig and a fresh manicure? To which somebody said, this is a stupid take. The girl offered him what she could. What was she supposed to do? Get him an apartment? You said put him in a shelter. I'm sure he would much rather get pampered, take some shots, and chill with peers. Yeah, okay. So, then Carrie said, nobody said they had to get him an apartment. Shamar is disabled, broke, and homeless. Please tell me how a bottle of deli... <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time I think about this shots in a wig, it's just like, okay. Shamar is disabled, broke, and homeless. Please tell me how a bottle of deli on a spa day, a new wig, and a fresh set of... <laughs> A fresh set of nails is going to help his situation tomorrow when he's still outside <laughs> sleeping on the ground. Quickly. You said that they should have put him in a shelter. They made him feel good for a short period of time. During this hard time, homeless people are still allowed to have a good time. What did you do to help him? No, what did you do to help him besides criticize someone else's gesture? <sighs> <laughs> not the chart not the motherfucking chart okay hold on the last time I checked these were the basic necessities of life you have yet to tell me how a temporary makeover with a bottle of daily on and a new wig which he cannot maintain while being homeless is gonna help him right now can you tell me we're sleeping tonight where he's sleeping tonight and then there's of course the chart Okay, for those of y'all that don't understand, it's basic needs, food, water, shelter, clothing. I don't see a wig. I don't see shots up there. And I don't see nails on a makeover. Are you the homeless police? What do you do for your homeless community? And in that moment, the makeover gave him company confidence, relaxation, and list could keep going. They, they get This sounds like a paid ad, a paid person, paid PR maybe. They gave him with their time, not money, which is just as nice. Looked like he enjoyed himself to me. And by that point, he was done with the conversation. Child. And, I mean, at this point, we're done with the video because I feel like the point has been made. Like, please, leave people alone. And most definitely, leave Shamar alone. Even if you call yourself a fan, bitch, you ain't really no fan. You ain't. You ain't. Stop running up in people's faces with a camera. Especially when they're telling you what they're going through or, like, it's public knowledge what it is that they're going through. Get people they fucking space and back the fuck up. And then y'all wonder why people like Doja Cat start looking at y'all and calling y'all fucking weird. Like, don't, like, don't, don't do all of that. Like, because you will stand a motherfucker. You will create, like, there's a whole fucking page on TikTok called Surviving Shamar. Like, are you fucking serious? Like, y'all would do all of that weird shit. Create these fan pages and go to bat, go to war, this, that, and the third. But you don't really know these people at all. When push comes to shove and they really fucking need help and assistance, you can't do a goddamn thing for them. And then you just want to profit off of them and capitalize off of them and then exploit them. So please leave that man alone and everybody else alone. How about everybody go get a job, go get a hobby, go find something creative to do, go touch grass, maybe go deal with your trauma. But like this, it ain't it. It ain't it. This was exploitive as fuck. And they gonna all burn to hell as far as I, as far as I care. Because I feel like th th doing shit like this. 
I ain't even gonna say what I really want to say. So we just want to end it here. Let me know what you thought about this down in the comment box below. As if I give a fuck. And definitely make sure you stream my music as if you give a fuck. Okay? And make sure you join the Patreon and go fuck a reading if you need one. Okay? Love each and every one of y'all. And HD Audio, boo. Goodbye. I'm trying to fuck now, so maybe let's dance. Fuck up my baby right here on my